I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. And this my this is a quick message. And it just came back to me because I was sitting in my spiritual one of my spiritual people's lives, and it rem, it rem, he reminded me of a vision I had back in 2016, early 2017, and I told people about it, and it didn't make sense then, but it makes perfect sense now. Long story short, the vision of I had a vision of President Trump. It was like on a photo. Then I had a vision of like this atomic bomb explosion. And I had a vision of me and my family living in a desert. I think it was like either Arizona or Las Vegas. It was back in 2017. And I told people about it. And I remember people laughing at me then when I tried to share it. But now it makes more sense because of the way the world's going. It wasn't that it was happening then. It was a vision of what's going to happen now. So I'm warning you now, if and when, he probably does win the presidential election, it's going to be catastrophic, disastrous results. It's going to be World War III like results if he does win. That's our, that's where we're heading. It's tied to him. He cannot win the president presidency, or it's going to lead to the destruction of not only America but the world as we know it. If he becomes president, think I'm playing. Think it's a game. Think I'm joking. If he leads the president, it's gonna be the end of the It's gonna be the end of the world as we know it. Do not let this man get president again, or we will not have a world. Trust and believe me on that. This is a vision that I've been saving for the right moment. I delivered it, but it was too early, so I'm re-delivering it now. Do not let President Trump win president. If you do, be ready for war, because it's coming. I'm telling you this now. Save this video because if he wins president, we're all going to be in major trouble and the world is going to go into absolute chaos. Don't say I didn't warn you. Let me say this again. He cannot win president or we're going to go into absolute chaos, destruction, and darkness at a level the world has never seen. So we have to do all we can to keep him away from the White House and away from the positions of power. He wants to destroy the world. It isn't about the people. It isn't about anything but his own selfish gain. And I believe he would rather call, cause a world war to delay him from getting out of office or ever getting out of any position of power ever again just so he could stay in his position. He would rather cause world war and worldwide damage to stay as permanent president rather than he would bring people together. And that's the man y'all want to support. That's the man y'all want to stand behind. That's the man y'all want to applaud for the Trump supporters. If you want to apply that and stand by that, be my guest. But no, you will be responsible for ending life as you know it, or the world as you know it, if you support him and support what he's doing. You, you're you going to single-handedly be the reason why World War Three started. And you're going to be the single reason why the world crashed, and we're in absolute chaos. So if you can live with that, vote for the man. But this is something I can't live with, knowing that I caused World War III and caused one of the most toxic, most violent, most eye-opening, world-changing events that didn't have to happen. I don't want to be part of causing the world to end. So I will never vote for him. 
and that's the reason why you shouldn't either. But if you think this is a joke, save this video. And then when it comes to voting time and he becomes president and it starts to happen, come back to me and tell me that I'm crazy. Or come back to me and tell me that you thought it was a game. Come back to me and tell me how, if the internet still tell me how, how it went for you. Because I'm telling you what exactly is going to happen. I hope you take this to fruition and listen to me and don't vote him in. Because if we do, you're ending the world. And like I said, if you can live with that, you can live with it. But I can't. And I'm going to do everything in my power to find a suitable candidate that I believe in, which is Nikki Haley. Yes, she's a Republican. I voted mostly Democrat. But she is the person I'm supporting because her ideas match up with my ideas. And I believe and I think it's time for a refreshing change. But nine, out of, nine times out of ten, one, because she's a woman, but two, because our ideas are progressive. I don't think the world is ready for that. But that's who I would be voting for if I had to pick a current candidate off that side to support. It would be her. But I just want to tell y'all, man, be careful, man. Don't vote. Don't let him get voted in there. We stopped him once. We can do it again. But please, for the sake of the world. Do not let him win president. Think on playing if you want to. When he gets it and the world get launched in the World War Three, all because he don't want to come out, come out of the White House when it's time, you won't be sitting here laughing at my video. You'll be praying to God that you and your family survive the nuclear wasteland that's coming. And it's coming. Because you voted a fool in the White House that don't want that don't know how to let go of his power. You are responsible for that. Can you live with that for the rest of your life? Knowing that you're responsible for ending the world as you know it. I can't. Which is why I'm gonna do everything in my power to stop him from getting elected. And you should be joining me too. But like I said, take it as a joke and keep playing with it. And let him get in there and watch and see how long we be on the internet or how long the world stay healthy. The end is coming. And he's going to be the beginning of the end if we vote him in there. Trust and believe me on that. I just hope y'all take this to heart and listen to what I have to say. And we stop him from getting in there. Because I don't want to be responsible for World War Three and ending the world just because some power hungry old man can't stand to give up his power and don't want to give it away. You would rather cost the world war than end millions of lives than to give your power away and walk away like a gentleman. And the sad part is I could see him actually doing that just so he wouldn't have to stop being president. That's the type of man y'all want to support. Well, that's okay with me if that's what, that's how you want to roll. But I'm not with it. And I just want to remind y'all, please do not vote for him. Please do not elect him. Please do not endorse him. Because you're endorsing the end of the world. But, again, I can only warn you. And that's what God put on my heart for me to talk about. So that's what I talk about. And I hope it helps sway your election choices, even if you don't vote. I need your vote. I need you to stop the end of the world from coming. Show God that we care. Show God that we're listening. Show God that you care about what could go on with the world. Make the positive change and vote for the right person. Because I don't want to be sitting here in toxic ways with the world half destroyed, having to rebuild all because of a selfish old man who don't know when to let go of his power. Don't make that our future. You have a chance to change it. Do it, in my opinion.